Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the problem number 5 from the chapter of stress in the book of Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. In this problem, it is required to determine the resultant tunnel loadings acting on the cross section at point B as shown in figure. As you know that for the determination of the internal loadings at any point, we have to cut the body at that point and take either of the portion. So for example, in this case, if I take the right portion of the beam, then first of all, I have to draw the free body diagram of the right portion and then I can determine the internal loadings acting at point B. So this is the right portion of the beam after cutting the member at point B. Now let's draw the free body diagram of this portion. The uniformly variable load is varying from 0 at point C to 60 pounds per foot at point A in a span of 15 feet. It means uniformly variable load is varying at a rate of 4 pounds per foot. Therefore, at point B means at a distance of 12 feet from point C, the intensity of the UVL at point B would be 48 pounds per foot which is calculated in this way. This uniformly variable load can be converted to a concentrated load by applying this formula. And when you calculate it, its value would be 288 pounds. And this force of 288 pounds will act at a distance of 4 feet from point B. Now all the three resultant tunnel loadings acting on the cross section at point B can be determined by applying the three conditions of equilibrium. So let's apply them. First condition of equilibrium, summation of all forces acting in x direction equal to zero. So in this case there is only one force NB. It means then NB would be equal to zero. So the normal force acting at point B would be zero. Now applying the second condition of equilibrium, submission of all forces acting in y direction equal to zero. There are two forces acting in y direction, one is VB and other is 288 pounds. VB is acting upward and 288 pounds is acting downward. If I considered upward as positive then VB would be positive and 288 pounds would be negative. So from here we will have the value of VB as 288 pounds. Now applying the third condition of equilibrium, submission of all moments acting at any point equal to zero and if I consider that point as B point then the moments at point B would be if I consider the clockwise moments as positive one would be due to the 288 pounds and it will have the clockwise moment around point B the moment arm would be 4 feet and the other would be MB itself so from here we will have the value of MB and when we will calculate this we will have the value of MB as 1152 pounds feet or you can say 1.152 kips feet but this value would be negative and the negative value shows that the considered direction would be altered we have considered the clockwise moment of MB but in actual it will be anti-clockwise so these three are the answers Thank you for watching this video.